The reason that the masking recommendations are changing is because the situation itself has changed. This has changed partly because vaccination rates didn't reach the level that we had hoped it would in order to avoid having a second surge, and partly because the Delta variant, which you've heard a lot about, is just that much more transmissible, and we're seeing a lot more transmission because of that. The underlying scientific method that's been used has been constant throughout the pandemic. This has always been about reacting to data as we understand it and seeing what's happening and coming up with the best recommendations at the time. The situation itself has changed. We've seen increased transmission. We've seen new variants come along. And it's a lot like uh, when you see a weather watch or warning on the television, where as the situation changes, the meteorologist upgrade you from a watch to a warning and say it's gone from time to watch the skies to time to go in the basement or time to get out of town. This is no different from that. What's emerged in the past few weeks is some evidence that those who are vaccinated still have the potential to transmit COVID-19, even if they aren't uh, demonstrating symptoms of it themselves. Because of that, in areas of high transmission, the CDC is recommending that people wear masks, even if they are vaccinated, to help try to slow down this Delta variant surge and give a chance for those who aren't vaccinated to get vaccinated and avoid getting hospitalized or seriously ill with COVID-19.